After decades under a military junta, Burma swears in its first elected civilian government. A gradual liberalization has been underway since 2010. President Tain Sein was sworn in in 2011 at the head of a military-backed administration. Although handpicked by the junta, he's viewed as a reformist who's overseen the transition to democracy. A number of the senior ministers who were pushing reform came to him a couple of months into his, uh, his term and uh, said, no, sir, you have to decide. Are you going to keep things more or less as they were with a few changes? Or are you going to grasp this opportunity and really reform? Uh, and in that way, he was convinced to come off the fence. In last year's elections, Aung San Suu Kyi's party won enough seats to form a government, the win coming five years to the day after she was released from house arrest. She'd been held in detention for trying to bring democracy to Burma. Although Aung San Suu Kyi herself is barred from taking the presidency, she said she'll still take the helm of the government from her position as foreign minister, whilst Tin Zhou, her close aide, becomes president. With public expectations high, the new government faces tough challenges. Conflicts have been raging in Burma's ethnic minority borderlands for decades, and poverty is widespread.